Hello guys, it's been a minute, I've got some peppermint tea with me. I might just do this the whole video just to fuck with you guys. But I'm not, because I'm a nice person. So, as you may know, I haven't posted a video on this channel in a fairly significant portion of time. And you might be wondering, well, at least a small minority of you might be wondering where I've been. Because, I'm sorry to say this, but I don't think I'll be uploading any more videos here anytime soon. And yeah, I know we are currently in a period of time where a lot of YouTubers are leaving the platform, but I'm not exactly jumping on the bandwagon because I stopped uploading on this channel well over a year ago. I just thought this was a good time as any to let you guys know what I've been up to and why I put this channel in permanent hiatus. Now, first of all, one misconception I need to bring up is yes, no more videos will be uploaded to this channel specifically, but I am still making videos just on a different channel, which is also, weirdly enough, also called Stanley Like Cyan. It's very confusing, but we'll get to that. Uh, I, I just want to talk about why I started this channel in the first place. So, I started this channel when I was very young. My first public videos that you can still watch, I was 13 when I made them. But I've been making videos for even longer than that. You just can't watch those videos for obvious reasons. I just did it for fun. I didn't, I didn't expect to find an audience. I was just doing it for fun. But even when I was making videos consistently even, I had a much bigger goal and that was to be a musician and a music producer. Even during my prime making YouTube videos, I'd still plug my Spotify and my Bandcamp in the description of every video. That is what I wanted to do for the longest time and still do. YouTube was really uh, a kind of creative outlet on the side. And for a while, you know, I was able to balance out, you know, my music and also the videos I was making because straight up I had no audience for either of the two. But suddenly there was this one particular series that started to gain a significant amount of attraction and that, of course, was the Portal 2 mapping series. This went on for technically nine episodes. If you're a fan of the series, then you know that despite there being ten episodes, there's really only nine. But anyway, as of recording, the first episode currently has 60,000 views, and it's just been increasing with time. It hasn't stopped, and I don't think it ever will. And I know that doesn't seem like a lot of views in the grand scheme of things, but if you think about it, Portal 2 mapping is a fairly niche topic. So I'd say it's probably the most popular series there is out there related to this topic. I know there are individual videos that have garnered more views than the first episode, and Top Hat Waffle, who is the most popular YouTube there is, out there for straight up hammer tutorials he started out his series using the portal 2 authoring tools but in terms of like an actual series dedicated to purely portal 2 level design it's the most popular out there and that is quite a big deal for someone who was only 15 at the time of making the videos and you know this was great you know i'm definitely not saying this was a bad thing I got a load of highly positive comments, which I have to thank a lot of you for showing your interest and support in the comment section of the videos over the years, because that meant quite a lot to me. I also got a load of annoying comments, clearly written by 12 year olds, but that, that's inevitable because I was a child back then, so of course I'm going to attract an audience of children. But even having that immense positive reaction to that series, it eventually got to a point where I was only known for that. I was only known as the goop man, or the guy who goes, hello, I'm a person, and everyone goes, ha ha. I'm not ashamed of that series. I think I'm happy the way it turned out, but 
The thing is, in this day and age, especially when you're a content creator, um, people often like to put you in one box and they only see you in a certain way. And if you uh, start to reveal that you're breaking out of that mold, I guess, and you're now doing something else, people just won't be interested because they'll find that uncomfortable. They probably don't want to see that other side of you that you kind of kept hidden. Which is kind of bullshit in a way because I haven't kept my music hidden at all. It's just a lot of people don't know about it, but it's just been completely overshadowed by this one series that I, I didn't know was going to gain that much attraction. So in a way, I kind of, I stopped making videos because is because I, I, I now knew I was becoming known as the Portal 2 mapping guy and I didn't want that. I, 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 lit I wanted to be a musician. That's always what I wanted to be. And I know that kind of sounds extremely arrogant, but I'm not saying my music is better than my tutorials. Like I'm not, you might think my music is shit and that is fine. Um, we all have our own tastes. Heck, I don't even like all the music I've made. Some of the music I've made, I think is unlistenable garbage, but you know, it is what it is. I just, I, I don't, I don't want to be known. I don't really want my legacy to be the Portal 2 mapping series. I was a different person back then. I'm not the same person now. Now, the other reason why I stopped YouTube is because I have severe commitment issues when it comes to large scale projects. And eventually I sort of lose interest in whatever it is I'm doing. The reason why the map, the Portal 2 mapping series carried on so long is because I kind of had that audience driving my ambition. But you know, in, the, in those first few episodes, those first probably three or so episodes, you could really tell that a lot of the motivation was driven purely by myself because that was what I wanted to do. But then I think it was around the sixth episode, you could really tell that I had lost, lost all creative steam. And I was literally only doing it for you guys. <laughs> it, it really kind of shows that it's probably one of the biggest flaws I can find in that series. Yeah, it's a bit sad really because there were loads of other projects as well, like um, the Having Fun in the series, uh, the music reviews, um, We Haven't Met, which was the Portal 2 mod I was developing around that time. They all kind of got scrapped because uh, I have such a short fuse when it comes to big projects I lose interest quickly and that meant that making videos was just very unsustainable for me and so I stopped because I stopped enjoying making videos uh, and that, that's a bit sad really but you know it is what it is but the thing is uh, this never applied with music I, I will say in the grand scheme of things I've been making music for a bit less time than I've been making videos but I've been way more consistent. So on streaming services, I have technically four, but I have five albums on streaming services and 13 total releases on Bandcamp. And that includes all the, the EPs and the soundtracks and all the, the, the Bandcamp only stuff, etc. You know, it's a lot of music. Yeah, so that's sort of my two main reasons for stopping this channel specifically this is where my new channel comes in which isn't exactly new it used to be my second channel for a while uh, but now it's purely just a channel where I upload all my music related stuff uh, and that is what I'm now calling my main channel uh, so if you want go subscribe to it if you like and yeah that's kind of all I have to say really uh, it's sad because this channel, it was fun while it lasted, but you know, all good things have to come to an end at some point. So if you want to check out my Spotify and you like what you listen to, please support me in any way you can. I'd very much appreciate it. I released an album uh, last year called 12 New Flavors. I released it on my 18th birthday. Uh, I'm very proud of that album. I think it's got all my best stuff on it. So. If you're gonna if you're gonna check out anything by me, I, I'd say check out that album because I'm very proud of it. It's got a lot of things on it, <laughs> a, a lot of different flavors you could say. But yeah, um, I wish you I wish you guys well. This is Stanley, the person, the goop man, the man who likes cyan, signing off 
for the very last time. Goodbye. <laughs>